Actress Selma Blair was taken off an international flight from Cancun to Los Angeles on a stretcher after witnesses say she mixed alcohol with an unknown prescription drug and then had a number of strange outbursts. Okay, so she started to cry and talk about fears regarding an unnamed male. Uh, she said things like, he burns my private parts, he won't let me eat or drink, he beats me, he's going to kill me. Keep in mind, she wow. was also with her uh, four-year-old son when all of this happened. Now, look, we don't know a lot of details about this, and I don't really want to be all judgmental. There are plenty of people who, you know, take Xanax or whatever it is when they get on a plane because they're nervous. I don't know if it's Xanax. I have no idea what she took. Um, a lot of people also underestimate what the pressure on a plane does to you and how much alcohol can really impact you when you're on a flight. I remember I had two glasses of wine, wine on a flight once, and I got insanely sick. And that was at a time when I had very high alcohol tolerance, so I don't know what was going on <laughs> oh, there. But um, she did release an apology. She, she said, I made a big mistake yesterday. After a lovely trip with my son and his dad, I mixed alcohol with medication, and that caused me to black out and led me to say and do things that I deeply regret. So, yeah, you know, she had gone on vacation with her ex mm -hmm. and, and their four-year-old son, and they had happy pictures of the vacation beforehand, mm -hmm. and and it was to celebrate Father's Day. So she, I think she's mainly like, whoa, whoa, don't think that I these things actually happen. It was a bad trip. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it, this story made me so glad that I don't abuse pretty much anything, right? Mm -hmm. Like, people love to take pills. Right? Like, oh, I'm on a plane. I'm in the underwater. I'm on the water. I'm on land. Well, I obviously need the pill for the underwater and the overwater pills. Mm -hmm. and. You know, and, and I'm slightly depressed, so I need a pill for that, and, but I'm slightly happy, I need a downer for that. And I'm like, people literally take downers and uppers at the same time. I got an idea, don't take either, and you're even. Okay, now, so I know I'm underplaying it, and I'm sorry, and people have real issues, yes. and, and certainly some of them need medication, and the medication helps some of them, right? Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is be careful. Look, this is what I'm saying, Jake. This I'm, is what she's saying. I'm Go saying ahead. that. If someone had an edible or took a hit of weed before getting on a plane, ah. no one's going to have weird outbursts where they're talking about some unnamed, unidentified male burning their private, private parts, right? Uh -huh. I know, look, I don't, again, I don't know what prescription drug she's taking, so maybe what I'm saying right now doesn't even apply to what she's going through. It could be some prescription drug that she really needs, and she shouldn't have mixed it with alcohol. But with that said, I know a lot of people who experience anxiety when they're on a flight, or they get nervous, or they have a tough time sleeping on a flight. I don't know, I feel like certain strains of marijuana can help you depending on what your issue is and you're not gonna have this type of reaction. I just find it so interesting that time and time again we have cases of prescription drugs having horrifying impacts on people and for some reason it's acceptable because pharmaceutical companies are the pushers for those drugs. But when it comes to marijuana, we still have several states that have legalized it completely. So I was just on Criminalized it completely, sorry. I, I was just on a plane because I'm on a plane like every other day. And some guy was started whistling as we we're taking off. And it was a, a red eye, so it was overnight. Mm -hmm. And he's like, really loudly. And everybody's like, looking back at him like, cut that out, it's really annoying. And I was like, guys, he's probably nervous, but doesn't want to say it. And that's, yeah. as the plane is taken off, he's a big guy and he's like trying to calm himself by whistling. like. I don't think he's doing it to be a jackass in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to go and tell everybody that, like, everybody's got a different way of coping. So stop doing. <laughs> Look, <laughs> okay. And I know what you're getting at. Yeah. Uh, so I told a story in a post game for members only, where I was uh, uh, taking a little bit of an edible, but like way before the flight, like yeah. like 20 hours before the flight, the night before, and I was still high, and I had to go to the bathroom to to dance. <laughs> 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 okay, Amazing. so yes, I also live in a slightly glass house. By the way, that is not when I got kicked off American Jank. Airlines. <laughs> I, no one's told Jank yet that marijuana is something that you either um, eat in a, a sweet, you know, cookie form, maybe brownie uh -huh. form. It's it's not in the form of a pill and also referred to as Molly. No, <laughs> no, no, I didn't do that. It, it's just so weird that you wanted to dance after smoking marijuana or I, eating. No, marijuana. no, the ma marijuana has the craziest effects on me. Yeah. But luckily, I did not get taken out on a stretcher. Dude, that is so. That's why I feel so bad for her. Yeah. That is so embarrassing when they got to take you off a plane on a stretcher. 
mm -hmm. right? And then she's got a four-year-old son, so I know it's a bit of a downer, if you will, to end on this note. But I hope she's okay because that's I know that's obviously mortifying. But again, to all of you, yeah, we all do different things, obviously, as we just admitted. Just keep it sane. Don't mix too many things up. It's one at a time, okay? Yeah.